Shoko Asahara, the infamous Japanese cult leader, was finally put to death on Friday the 6th of July, 2018. Asahara, formerly known as Shizuo Matsumoto, founded the doomsday cult Um Shinrikyo, which was first known as A.M. Shinsen no Kai. This cult was responsible for Japan's most horrific terrorist attack of all time, which hit a Tokyo subway in 1995. The cult group released the chemical weapon sarin gas to kill 13 and severely injure 50, among thousands more who were also injured. So how did this monster rise to fame, and how did he manipulate his followers to commit this heinous crime? Born in 1955, Asahara first honed his skills at manipulation, control and power as a little boy. He was partially blinded with infantile glycoma and was sent to a school for the blind. As the ancient quote goes, in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And in keeping with this quote, he used his advantages of partial sight to dominate his class members who were totally blind. He bullied his way to earning a fearful respect and following amongst his classmates. He had delusions of grandeur from a young age, claiming that one day he would rule a kingdom of robots. After school, he was rejected for a place at university. Following this, he turned his hand to practicing Chinese medicine and acupuncture. However, he was convicted of selling pharmaceuticals without license in 1981. He then began his career in the world of religion, studying in depth the teachings of astrology, Taoism, Western esotericism, Christianity, Buddhism, yoga and meditation. Nostradamus was particularly influencing to the cult leader, an astrologer who famously predicted Armageddon. The religious group, as it was known then, was initially granted legal recognition as a religious corporation shortly after being formed in 1984. Asahara soon found fame and followers after a string of appearances on television and magazines, alongside presenting lectures at university campuses. However, as his fame grew, so did his delusions, and he imagined he was called upon as a god to bring about the end of the world. He believed he would survive this apocalypse and emerge as a supreme leader of the globe. He began a campaign to further enhance his followership by releasing videos in which he made extraordinary claims of godlike ability. He targeted intellectually gifted people in particular, such as scientists and engineers. He filled a void in his followers by stating he would gift them salvation in the next world after destroying this one. He built a following of 5,000 in the early 90s and subjected them to various mind control techniques. A team of scientists from the cult were tasked with building a sarin gas producing factory. In 1995, Asahara commanded the cult to unleash the gas to horrifying gruesome effect on the Tokyo subway. The gas is classed as a weapon of mass destruction and can render death in the most gruesome way in seconds. The gas causes choking, paralysis, vomiting and stinging the eyes until they lose sight. In the aftermath, Asahara was bitterly disappointed that only 13 people died. This was among further atrocities, such as the shooting of a police chief who was investigating the organisation. Shortly after the attack, the cult's premises at the bottom of Mount Fuji was raided by Japanese authorities. After an extremely long trial which took over seven years, he was sentenced to be hung for his crimes. And on the 6th of July 2018, he was executed by hanging. 
Perhaps the most horrifying fact of all is that the group is still active and has spread as far afield as Russia.